What's going on YouTube? So today is another list of things to do. If you've been watching my vlogs, which you better not be skipping over my vlogs, uh, yesterday I did a list and today I'm gonna do a list as well because I need to get things done. I need to first need to plan out to go get the oil changed in the car. Have not changed it in a while. And before I moved to Austin, I always changed the oil myself, but at this apartment complex, they do not allow you to do that. So you have to take it places and it costs you way more when you can do it yourself. Oh, and as you can see in the background, whoo, see in the background up there? I found a place for Nikki's picture right there on top of their microwave. And like I said before, if you're keeping up with my vlogs, you know I found this beautiful painting, this masterpiece at the dumpster. Uh, but I think we're gonna take it back out there. Shelby doesn't like it there. I think it looks pretty good in the kitchen. It gives it some color, gives it some pop. And yesterday, as you saw, I almost lost my finger. So I did replace the Hello Kitty Band-Aid with just a regular boring Band-Aid because I had to take a shower and I need to take this thing off. How I did it, let me explain how I did it, or it might be easier just to show you. So let me explain the story how I did this. So yesterday, we, me and Shelby was talking about the painting, and she said I had to get rid of it, had to just get rid of it out of the house, and so I got mad and No, I really did not punch the wall. But what really happened was we were at the dog park yesterday with Gaynor. We took him out there and there was a dead stump or dead limb on this tree. And so I was holding it. And so, I don't know, just whatever reason thought, okay, I'm gonna break it. So I was pushing up on this dead limb and the tree, the bigger limb up here was up there. So I'm pushing up and when I did, it broke and I just slammed the tree and that's what happened to my hand. And it's not all that bad. I mean, I said it's not that bad, but it's bad. It's just making just everyday stuff just like a little bit harder to do. Come on, get the flag. Ow. So I think it's time to get this bandage off. Uh, at some point you need to kind of let a, a wound heal outside of a band-aid and put an ointment on there because it like stays, I don't know, it seems not to heal because I guess the air is not getting to it enough. So we're gonna take off this thing and see what it looks like now. So here's the real band-aid. It's probably, ow, it's not the easiest, ow. Why I don't know. Okay, now it's, it's healed to my finger now. Oh, that's not that bad. It looks worse than what it is because it doesn't hurt at all. Yeah, it's not that bad. So enough about my finger. It's lunchtime. So I'm having a low carb wrap with some ham, chicken and cheese, and a little bit of low fat Miracle Whip. And I'm gonna have some of these pretzels as well. So I'm gonna have that edit some more video and then head to the gym. I'm telling you, today is an awesome day. It feels amazing outside. A little bit cooler today. I think it's like 55 degrees. This is my kind of weather. So this kind of weather just gets me all kind of, I just get all energized because it just feels so good. I just want to go outside. <laughs> For you, maybe a few seconds. For me, it's been about three hours. I've been editing, doing some other stuff, calling around, got my hair appointment, and got the oil ch or the oil change appointment. And so now I'm about to have some coffee before heading to the gym. I've been taking uh, my proteins, my pre, but I have not been sleeping at night. It's been taking me hours to actually fall asleep. So I'm gonna see if that is the pre-workout. So I'm just gonna have some coffee today. And then I have my water jug and my Hulk shaker bottle. So I'm gonna drink this coffee real quick and then head to the gym. Who is ready to see a great shoulder workout? I'm gonna go in here and try to film as much as possible, but we're gonna kill some shoulders. 
What is going on everyone? So today I have an awesome shoulder workout. It was amazing. For some reason I felt really good this day. So as you can see, I started off with a warm up just doing I think external rotations and some side raises. I think that's what it's called. Different people say different things. But just really uh, warming up the rotator cuff. So doing a few sets of those and then doing some side raises. So the very first exercise I started with was a Smith Machine Power Press. So a little bit different than like a military press, you know, most of the time you're doing like strict form, but this you're trying to like kind of cheat actually to press it up and then you just power through it. That's why it's called a power press. So you use relatively heavy weight. Uh, so the rep range that I did, I did five sets and the rep range was 12, uh, 10, 8, 6. And then I think I went all the way down to, I think, four reps and then did a drop set on the very last set that I did not film. But this is just a set of 185 and did for, I'm not even sure how many reps this is, maybe 10 or something. And then went to two plates on there and I think I got like three or four. I was aiming for four, but I think I only got three reps actually. Uh, so just going as heavy as possible uh, for this power movement. Uh, I tried to uh, lift heavier weights doing shoulders. Uh, for some reason, I think that's the uh, reason I have built my shoulders uh, so well is using relatively heavy weight. Uh, just same thing is on chest. I will go all the way down to you know four reps, you know five reps, somewhere in there. So I lift relatively heavy, especially on the compound movements. So this is the next angle that you're going to see. I had the camera actually set up on top of the Smith machine. As you can see, I did a really good catch because it was falling down. <laughs> I only had like, I don't know, three reps and it all of a sudden started falling and I saw it. And a uh, good thing I caught it. So then on to the second movement, uh, went on to seated dumbbell uh, press. Uh, nothing too crazy heavy here. I went for the exact same rep range pretty much, uh, 12, uh, 10, 8. And I think I did six reps and then actually went back to another set of 12. So just went up in weight each time, lower in weight or higher in weight. And then on the last set, uh, I did 12 reps again. So I went back to the original starting weight. Uh, so this is just a great way to you know further deplete your shoulders. I do a lot of press movements on shoulder day. A lot of people just do one exercise. I tend to do like two to three, even four sometimes, just to uh, change it up a little bit. Uh, I think pressing is one of those things that's going to really build your shoulders. And so I do a lot of pressing for shoulders. Uh, so then after the dumbbell press, I went on to uh, side raises, dumbbell side raises. And this was uh, really hard because I did four sets of running the rack. I couldn't film it because there's just too many people in there to get the whole uh, set. But what you do, you start off with a heavy weight. I had started off with like the 40 pound dumbbells, dropped it five pounds, and then did as many reps as I could, then dropped it down again and again and again, all the way down until I got to 15 pound dumbbells. So each and every one of those sets, I'm going to complete failure on each set of dumbbells. So I did four rounds of that. So that was crazy. And then after that, went on to uh, reverse flies, dumbbell flies on the incline bench. So I just have the incline bench at about a 45 degree angle and just doing some reverse flies. I did four sets of 15 reps. I uh, tried to get 15 reps. At like the last two sets, I was only able to get, I think, like 12 reps. Then after that, went on to a Smith machine. Uh, Let's see upright row so I did five sets of these for around uh, eight to twelve reps uh, I was at the last few sets I was getting around eight so I started off with 12 reps and then it ended up being around eight reps in the last so just going to complete failure I had a 45 on each side uh, of that Smith machine and then I finished off uh, this workout with shrugs on a standing calf raise a little bit different I know you probably haven't seen this but all you do is just stand on a standing calf raise and just do a shrugs on there so that is what I finished with I need to start focusing on more just traps that is one weakness of mine so I need to really start focusing on those a whole lot more maybe doing like two to three exercises on those because like I said it's a weakness for me so hope you like the rest of the video guys Thank you so much for watching. Woo! Just killed that shoulder workout. Now headed home. I'm hoping that it's enough daylight to go take Gainer to the dog park. But 
it doesn't look like it. I know it looks brighter in the camera, but it looks like it's about to get dark maybe in like 20 minutes. And it takes about, I don't know, six minutes to get home. So we'll see, he might be able to go or just walk around the neighborhood because we all know that dog needs to get out some energy. And could these people park any closer to me? I'm not sure. Oh gosh. It's never easy getting in the car with small parking spots. I think I got here just a little too late. It is pretty dark out here, so Mr. Gaines won't be able to go to the dog park. Poor Gainer. Looks like the, the, the heavens. This light so bright. So post-workout shake here, I'm having two scoops of my protein isolate uh, in here, mixing it into a pudding with some unsweetened vanilla almond milk, and then I'm gonna have a bowl of this cereal. I love this stuff. This brand is amazing. It's actually better than the Captain Crunch, the original brand, I think it's Kellogg's. It's better than that. So, protein, I'm gonna, let me talk to you about that. A lot of people's gonna ask, uh, is it necessary, you know, protein powder? And it's not necessary, but supplements do help because when you go to the gym, you're tearing down muscle. So having a protein shake, it is a fast absorbing protein. Uh, so your body can absorb it quicker than having like a chicken breast or something like that. So it does help because it can absorb quicker into the muscles. So just got done with my cereal, playing ga with, with, uh, with Gainer, and we are looking for vacation spots this year. So Shelby's been looking on the computer. We're looking at Jamaica, so it looks like it's going to be Jamaica this year. Uh, the past two years, we have been to Cancun and right outside Cancun, Isla Mujeres. And this year, we're looking at Jamaica, so she is all busy looking all over the internet, trying to find the best deals and the best places to stay. So she's like looking over all the reviews and stuff. Uh, we're looking at what date? Uh, beginning of May. So like beginning of May is when we're looking at going on vacation. So that's going to be fun. And I got a GoPro this year. So I told Shelby I'm going to be doing a lot of snorkeling. The other, and the other years I've been, I never actually bought goggles and stuff. And when you go out of like the country and go to those places, like, everything's way overpriced like a pair of goggles nice goggles would be like 50 bucks or something so you know you can get them at walmart here for like 15 so i need just need to buy some and then make sure i pack them so i can do a lot of snorkeling i had to ask could she be on screen with her robe and she said yes so i can vlog here i'm covered right i think so i hope so yeah if not you can just delete this i'll do some fuzzies if she's not um so uh, right now, waiting, or actually, I'm not waiting, but she's waiting because her TV show comes back on tonight, Grey's Anatomy. That is one TV show that I cannot stand. I can watch Friends, and I can watch, what other ones have you liked? The Nanny, George Lopez, I can watch all those. But Grey's Anatomy, that is one TV show I cannot watch. So me and Gainer is going to be going back there and playing some PlayStation tonight. Whoa, whoa, what was that? What was that? Show him your new toy, Gainer. Show him your new toy you got yesterday. Show it to him. Let's see it. Sit, Gainer. Sit, sit, lay down. Good boy, you are so sexy. You are, whoa, 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 whoa. He's like, I know, Dad, Tell I know. Me. You ask how my finger is? I know you can't really ask because you know, you're just watching the TV screen or the laptop or your computer. I cannot get this right. No, my finger is doing better, as you can see. It is actually dried up now. Before it was like, uh, a nasty word, oozing. But now it's actually dried up, so it's healing quite well, actually. I was able to work out just fine. It doesn't hurt at all, but it it's better. I know when we get so many comments, and be like, Abel, you're such a baby. It's just like a little scrape. I know, my pain tolerance is really high. It honestly did not hurt at all. I was just doing this for the vlog, so. No, I'm not a big lying. baby. I'm lying, she says. No, <laughs> I cried because this thing, after it scratched, after I had to put a Band-Aid on it because I was sitting there crying. Hello Kitty only. Hello Kitty only, yeah. That's the only that Band-Aid. That's the truth. That's the that is not only the truth. Thing I just said, that is not the truth. You wanted the Hello Kitty one. There was one Hello Kitty Band-Aid. What's for dinner, you may ask? You all guys ask a lot of questions now. All right, so for dinner, 
We're pretty much out of everything, so tonight we're gonna have to improvise. We had eggs and bread. So I'm gonna make an egg sandwich. This is actually Shelby's. If you've never had an egg sandwich with Miracle Whip or mayonnaise, you've got to try it. And I don't know why I got two knives. I already have one in there. Oh, this is for the butter. All right, so what you do, you have an egg. So I already cooked this egg. It's been sitting for a while. That's her egg. You need a spatula. So I have Miracle Whip on the bread here with a piece of mozzarella cheese. You stick the egg on top of the cheese. You stick the butter on a piece of bread. And then you put the other slice on like that. And then you turn it over where the bread can toast up a little bit and you put butter on the other side and then you throw it on there and toast it and then you have an amazing egg sandwich. As you can see, one egg is not enough for me so I had to add two eggs and egg whites to that sucker so my egg sandwich is massive. This thing, put it on top of my sandwich. Ooh, look, it's like covering. <laughs> it's like way bigger than the bread. Oh yeah, that is an egg sandwich. And that is an egg sandwich. Back in the kitchen again. It seems like I'm always in the kitchen. But now, tonight, again, like last night, we are having ice cream. So healthy ice cream. Uh, tonight's flavor is death by chocolate. So I'm going to have like a serving of this. Put it in there, of course. And then I'm going to add, hang on, some of these chocolate nubs. From my protein, that's gonna sprinkle. Nubs. What is it? Nibs. Nibs. It's not nubs. Ew. What? Chocolate nubs. Gross. <laughs> chocolate nibs by my protein. So it's the natural chocolate. It's really good. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks amazing. So I got the nibs in there, and then I added pretzels to it because I need a little bit more carbs. So I just got some regular pretzels, crumbled them up in there, and this is gonna taste amazing. So now in here playing PlayStation, uh, Shelby watched her TV show, and I'm playing uh, Battlefield. It's probably one of my favorite games right now. I've been playing it about every night so far. Not long, but just been playing it with my brothers and stuff. All my brothers back home has the game, so that's why I play it. And Gainer is apparently thinks that he can get up on the bed whenever he wants to now. I started allowing him, him back on the couch uh, I don't know, like a few weeks ago, and now he thinks he's allowed on the bed, so I'm gonna have to break him of that because he is not gonna be allowed on this bed. And we're also discussing my birthday present because as you saw the other day, we went and looked at all the new Macs, and we're not sure what to do because they're so expensive, and it's not that we don't have the money. We have the money, but I honestly, I'm one of those people that hate going out and spending a lot of money on something. I've just never been one to go and just get the best of the best just to have it and to spend that kind of money. Like the cameras and stuff I have are really good, but they're not the very best. Like there's always something else, like another few thousand dollars more expensive that I don't get. I try to get something equivalent to that. But that being said, the new Macs start at $2,400 and then you can do updates from that. So what I'm thinking I need because I do a lot of video editing is to upgrade the chip, the, uh, the graphics chip in that. And then, so that was like 20, I think $600. But the memory was the lowest too. It was like 200 and something gigs and I wasn't even thinking about it until just like today or yesterday. And I was like, my old computer is 500 and I only have like 100 gigs left in my old computer. So I'm like, I think I need 500. So everything, all these two upgrades for the new Mac 15 inch would be around $2,800. And that's a lot of money to spend on a computer for sure. So we're just discussing on what to do. Should we get it or should we look, for, I don't know. I just don't know. I need a new computer. 
because I pretty much upgraded my old computer as much as it could. The only thing you can really do to those is upgrade the RAM, which you saw I did in a vlog not too long ago, maybe about two months ago, and then upgrade the hard drive, which I'm not sure if that's actually going to make the computer faster. It will make the uh, different processes faster, but I'm not sure if it'd make the editing faster. And the problem is with the new Macs, the old Macs you could update. Uh, like you could order the computer with like 200 gigs and then you could actually uh, put more memory in it for way cheaper because you don't have to get the Mac memory. But M Apple was very smart this time and you cannot upgrade them at all. They come to you, can't upgrade the RAM, you can't upgrade uh, the hard drive, nothing. It is what you get. So we still have not came up with a decision about this computer. But we're gonna head to bed because it is like about to be 12 o'clock. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I will see y'all next time.